Welcome again to another Marathon and Miracle Prayer Service. This platform was, is ordained of God for the breakthrough of his people. And I want to tell you there has been diverse miracles and testimonies from people that I know that God has touched their lives. Destinies have been changed. Deliverances have taken place. Healing of all sorts. And I invite you, as you join us today, be prepared, be ready, because God is ready. The power of God is present today to do diverse, great, mighty things. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brethren, we are going to begin to thank God. Yes. Let's thank God thank you, for Jesus. what we have experienced in this mighty work of God yes. in this commission, Amen. especially in this thank platform. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to begin to say, Father, we thank we you thank because you. we have seen your we power. Thank you. We have seen your glory. Yes. We have seen thy glory deliverance. Your name. You have shown glory yourself your strong name. on our you behalf. Father, awesome. we come to say, we thank, say you. thank you. The God we that gave us you. his son, Jesus Christ. We what have you not you. done? Say, what you cannot do, that's why it is because you are we God that the has been delivering people worthy, in this commission through worthy. this platform, yes. Father. You have yes. delivered the sick, yes. you have healed cancer, yes. you have done everything, you have lifted lives, yes. and we are grateful to you. We are grateful, we are grateful, that we Hallelujah. say thank Hallelujah. you, thank Hallelujah. you for the man and the woman of God that you are using powerfully, doing wonders through them, we give, releasing we power, the glory. saving lives, we give you bringing the glory. deliverance. We give you that the glory. we are so grateful. We exalt thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, thank you, mighty God. Thank you, the King of Glory. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, the I am the Thank you, mighty God. We worship you. Exalted. Every we one of us are up. lifting our we hands and saying there is no other beside you. you. There Jesus. will never be any. You are the God of this commission. Yes. This commission is named after you. Hallelujah. And you are the foundation of this commission. Yes. We love you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. My brother, my sister, wherever you are, all over the world that you are joining us, because this is a global prayer service. Wherever you are, I want you to thank God for having the opportunity to join us today, Amen. for being on this platform, Amen. because the table is set. The power of God is available Amen. to do great and mighty things. Begin to thank God for that situation, for that situation, for that burden of your heart, for that sickness, for that deliverance that you are believing God. Let us begin to thank God ahead, because he has prepared his servant, Pastor Festus and Antonia, to be used on this platform. Let us begin to pray is his name. He is the founder. He is the general overseer. He is the pastor. It is by his grace that all things are being done. Father, we exalt you. We give you great glory ahead today for what you are going to do in this marathon prayer, for what you are going to do in this miraculous, because we believe you. I have a conviction in my spirit that God is ready to do great and powerful things. Begin to praise the Lord, my brother. Praise the Lord, my sister, because because today is your day. In the name of Jesus, we give you all the praises. We exalt you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brethren, we are going to pray concerning this program. Yes. We are going to commit this service into the mighty hand of God. Yes. I want you to bow your head. I want you to be prepared because the God of heaven yes. is set to do a great thing in your life. Remember yes. the woman that the woman that was caught in adultery. The God Almighty Jesus came in that, that place and delivered her, Hallelujah. and her life never Thank became the same. Jesus, really I want you to understand remember. that even the same thing happened to the man that Jesus Christ found by the wellside. Yes. The man that said, remember. "I have nobody." Remember. This Take this it. this remember. marathon remember. Pro, uh, uh, pro, prayer session for today 
is called clothed with power from above. Yes. I'm telling you, after this program, after this prayer, Jesus, you your life will be clothed with power. Power to break Jesus, every yoke. Power to walk through the challenges. And there is nothing that can hold you back. As you are walking through the issues and challenges, they will begin to clear. They will begin to clear. They will begin to clear. I want you to try me to pray concerning that God mm. let your power be released Amen. Father we call your power name of Jesus. concerning Father, this program your power as you did through the life of Jesus your power. through the mighty your power. power in the in name the of Jesus I know we you are release prepared. your power I know you are we here. release I know your power you are ready to do great and mighty things in Lord the mighty Jehovah, name of Jesus every challenge people in depression people sick people afflicted people in any case everyone is Lord Jehovah, let your power let your be released power again in, the mighty in a name mighty of way. Jesus. Let the people be delivered. The let the people be Jesus. changed. The Lord mighty name Jehovah, of they that say they have no help, let their help come. The Lord, we call Jesus. upon you. Let it begin to happen now. Let us be stepping up. Do your servant. Do Dr. Fashion and Tuna Dehi. Let your power show forth like never anointed one them to the do. We worship you. We you give you all the glory. We exalt you. Yes. And there shall be testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone connected shall have testimony. In the name, name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus. It is a God of this commission. Amen. The God of this platform. He has been doing it. And he has come again to do it. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty we bless God. you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, I have good news for you. Today is your certain day. This day is your certain day. Amen. In the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 17, the Bible spoke that when Jesus started preaching on a certain day, Whatever time you are watching, whichever part of the world you are watching, I say unto you, today is your certain day. Because that certain day that Jesus was preaching, the Bible said the power of God is present Amen. to heal all. Amen. And after all, there is nothing. Hallelujah. So I want you to pray wherever you are, whatever time you are watching this, whatever day you are watching this, this is your certain day. Amen. That the power of God on this platform, whenever, wherever you are watching it, the power of God will be mighty Amen. every season, every time Amen. you come in contact with this platform, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever the burden of your heart is, whatever the fear is, whatever the situation is, whatever the sickness is, there is nothing that is greater than the power of God. So I say unto you, my brother and my sister, today is your certain day, Amen. and the power of God is mighty here. Amen. I have a Conviction is my spirit that you all, everyone that is connected, Amen. everyone that is watching, yes. you shall return yes. with a testimony. Yes. You shall return yes. with a testimony yes. by the authority in the name of yes. Jesus. We decree yes. and declare yes. as God has prepared his servants to be used today. You shall receive that breakthrough. You shall receive that miracle. You shall receive that healing. You shall receive that deliverance. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. because the power of God is great and mighty. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. thank you, mighty God. You, In Father. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 I don't Amen. want us to be unaware of the schemes of the devil. The Bible said in the book of Job chapter 1 verse 6, it said, when the children of God were gathered, there comes Satan among them. Wherever you are, my brothers and sisters, let us decree and declare. Satan will rebuke you Amen. by the authority in the we name of Jesus. We take power. authority over your power. We, we rebuke you. You have nothing to do. You have we no. We are gathered unto our God. We are gathered unto our God. Have God. You have no portion in this gathering by the authority in the name of Jesus. Every distraction, every distraction, every hindrance is shattered. Is destroyed. We plead the blood of Jesus. Nothing shall by nothing stop us. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. You have no portion in this meeting. You have no portion over this platform. In the mighty name of Jesus. This miracle platform is a danger of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. We give you all the praise and the honor. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. My, my, my people, I want to say this before we, we take you into the sanctuary. It just occurred to me. Remember that man that Jesus met in the, 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 the centurion that said that came to Jesus for Jesus yes. Christ uh, to come and heal his servant. servant when he saw Jesus he said oh I know you have power oh, I know the same thing we do yes. that you just pick your word mm -hmm. brethren just my the word. as you are in that house as you, mama mama no matter mama where you are mama either you are in South Korea mama North mama Korea as you are in China in the Africa mama Caribbean mama wherever, mama wherever you are mama just mama listen to the word of God that the servant is going to speak take that word he said, speak your word. Speak that word. I know if you speak that word, my servant will be healed. As the servant of God speak the word, you will be healed. Your deliverance will come. Amen. Nothing shall hinder it. There is no distance in the spirit. The power of God is available. Amen. He said, you shall be clothed with power. And we declare the power of God is released now to do a new thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Thank you, Lord. Mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to now take you into the sanctuary where the power will be released. It will come to you as a deluge. Amen. Nothing can hinder Amen. it. Amen. Amen. Right now we go into the sanctuary to the New Dimension Choir. After the New Dimension Choir, Pastors Festus and Antonia Deye will come with testimonies to share with you. But I want to remind you, wherever you are, share this link with your friends, with your family. Send it all over the world. Anywhere, all over the world where you are, you can join this. And whatever day, whatever time you are watching this is going to be your certain day. Amen. And the power of God will meet you wherever you are. Remain blessed Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our great God, so strong for us. Water you turned into wine Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you There's none like you oh, oh, oh. I know you know the church Into the darkness you shine If you know it, come praise him Out of the ashes we rise There's no
on, church. So sing along, sing. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God. Come on, sing and say. There's no God like Jehovah. No God. There's no God like Jehovah. No God. There's no God like Jehovah. No God. He's greater than you. Greater than I. Greater than Muhammad. There's no God. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. Nobody like Jesus. Nobody like Jesus. There's no God like 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 Come on Anybody got those hands like this Come on If you're ready to praise I want you to scream in this place Hallelujah What a great God we serve, amen. How great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all who see how I hear you church too. How great is our God. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. How great, how great is our God? 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 Hey, yeah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! How do you know this part so sick? You're the name, you're the name.
family our online community how you doing today welcome to this month of turnaround mm -hmm. experience get ready for a transformed life get ready for a turnaround encounter in the presence of god listen to me this is not an ordinary gathering this is a supernatural platform the marathon prayer mm -hmm. the global marathon and miracle service Hallelujah. is a platform in by God. It's a commanded grant Amen. for the commencement of great destinies, for yes. the transformation of great destinies. So, my wife and I will welcome you, Dr. Antonio. Can you welcome the people this, this day for we this? We welcome you this day. We are so excited that you made right. it today. We are excited about what God wants to do. I can feel open heavens already. Yeah, yeah. And we know that God is touching each and every one today in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Just like she said, there is an open heaven because it's a divinely commanded mountain for supernatural visitation. On August 6, 2014, I was on that mountain in New Jersey. God said, gather my people at the 6th of August. Wow. Are my people an early money prayer platform for me to breathe upon their situation, to breathe upon their lives. So that brings to mind Psalm 33 verse 9, for he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and he stood firm. So you are standing on a commanded ground. Yes. And everything commanded on this ground today shall be a command in the realm Amen. of the spirit. Amen. There shall be testimonies Amen. for your coming. Don't allow anything to hold you. I'm going to read the scripture to set our minds. Then we're going to read our testimonies of great things. And God is doing some of the great things that God is doing on Thank this you, platform you, because the Bible says that the testimony of Jesus Christ is a spirit of prophecy. So as that testimony, as those testimonies are going forward, they are prophesying to you That's right. that if God did it for them, He's going to do it for you. And, and testimonies are sometimes ladder, yeah. ladder that other testimonies will use in climbing back into the realm of the... Hallelujah. Earth. Hallelujah. In Luke 14, verses 16 to 17, Then said he unto them, Jesus speaking, the certain man made a great supper and bade many, that is, he called many, and sent the salmon at supper time to say to them that were called, Come, mm. for all things are now ready. Wow. Come, for all things are now ready. That is the prophetic to set your mind before we go further into this service. I believe in my spirit down deep, there's a divine invitation today for supernatural supplies. Amen. All things. God says, come, all things. Anything and everything, amen, is ready. God is not just going to prepare our deliverance. Hallelujah. He's not just going to prepare our breakthrough. In Romans 8, 32, he said, if God did not spare his son, he gave him to us. How much we live freely with him? Give us how many things? Oh, all things. Amen. Your healing is ready. Hallelujah. Your deliverance is ready. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what you are looking for, it is it's available. Amen. It is available before the need. Amen. God already gave an invitation and he already made a provision. So, come on, say, come on, say, all things are ready. All things are ready. That's right. Your healing is ready. Amen. Your deliverance is ready. Amen. The God that will serve is not a God that will say, go and come back. Mm -mm. No, no, no. He said in Proverbs 3, 24, he said, he said, do not withhold, you know, good from him it is due when it is in your power to do so. Mm -hmm. Don't tell him to go and come back. So, if God made that rule, is banned by that rule. Amen. So what, what, what is it that you need today that God does not have? Hmm. And God won't tell you to go and come back. No, Amen. what we need from you today 
It's an open heart. Amen. It's a heart of faith. Yes. It's a heart of faith. Yes. We decree over you my today in agreement with my wife that whatever bro brought you here today Amen. on this platform, heaven Amen. will deliver. Amen. It shall be delivered. Amen. It shall be delivered. Amen. Come on, prophesy Amen. over the people. Amen. Amen. Rabo, the, the presence of the Lord is yeah. so strong. Yes. So strong. Father, thank you, mighty Jehovah. Yes. Thank you for open heavens upon your yes. people. Yes. Thank you for healing. Healing yeah. upon that marriage. Yeah. Healing upon that body. Yes. We rebuke he everything. Has been healed. We yes. rebuke everything that is not of God. Yes, you see, I, I saw a cup of water. Mm -hmm. You know, then suddenly it, uh, the, the color changed from colorless to colored mm -hmm. with impediment. Mm -hmm. God said he's going to cleanse, he's going to do some cleansing work today in every life. In so, every that, life. so that your color yeah, and your beauty will show forth. Hallelujah. Yeah, that My impediment here your beauty Thank and you, the color and the of your destiny, destiny and yes. your glory from showing forth, God is cleansing it. Amen. Are powerful. Amen. God is Amen. cleansing. Come on, say, my, my father, my father, my father my every father. hindrance every to my showing forth, to, showing forth, to the showing forth of my glory, of let, my it glory. let it be removed now. Let it be removed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. All things are ready. Mm. So call your friends. Yes. Call your neighbors. Yes. I mean, share the link to yeah. them and get ready. Move anything that will hinder you aside. If you have to get your, uh, your baby, if you see have children, get them ready. If they are up, it's going to be an explosion. That's right. Whatever is going to hold you the back, power of God. push those things yes. back. Amen. Anything that can hold you back from having undivided attention, push those things back. I keep saying it. Don't allow anything to hinder you. Yes. No. Don't say, oh, it's marathon again, you know. No. Uh, no, 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 no. You can't come with that spirit of apathetic spirit to come with, touch me, now, Lord. Yes. I am ready, now, Lord. Open heart. heart open heart. Faith. Open heart. To open heart. Just to, to, to set that te spirit of testimony for you. I uh, one wrote, he said, Pastor Jesus gave a word of knowledge during the ministrations, his ministration in one of the marathon prayers in April. Wow. That somebody's uh, dried fountain shall be filled and restored. Wow. I connected into the prophetic world because things have been pretty rough and the fountain of my financial supplies dried up. Mm. I lost my job, lost my health insurance coverage and the water boiler in my home submerged. Mm. But ever since Pastor Professor gave the prophetic word, things started getting better, Hallelujah. changing. Thank you, Lord. And I started experiencing dra Thank you, dramatic Lord. turnaround. Thank Positively, you, my Thank job you, and insurance were restored. My home boiler was replaced. Come wow. on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. There. Glory. You see the God of restoration? Amen. That's the wow. I am that is our God is not the I was God. Uh -uh. Is the I am or God. Or I will be. Or I will be God. <laughs> I don't know what has broken down in your life. I don't know what you have lost. It may, it may not be a job or whatever it is you have lost. We connect you on this platform that that same God who did that. He will do it for Amen. you. It's the same yesterday, today, Amen. and forevermore. Forever what he does for one, he does for yes. other. That Amen. same God will move on your behalf. <clears throat> Let me read Amen. it. I have two testimonies on, about healing. Wow. Two. He said, I have been on medication due to excruciating knee pain. But during one of the marathons programs, hmm. Pastor Festus gave a word of healing about Amen. someone with knee pain. Wow. I receive it by faith yes. and I since be healed hmm. and I stopped taking medication. Hallelujah. She received it by, by faith. faith. That's what Sister Kenesha. Yeah, Sister Kenesha received by faith. by faith. That's it. Yeah. Your faith is a currency. That you, what is your faith? It's just I believe. Whatever God says on this platform, whatever God declares on this platform yes. is my portion and I receive it. Amen. No controversy. Amen. That is faith. Amen. Anyone today with pain anywhere in your body, we declare wholeness. Yes. We declare healing. healing. In the name of Jesus, the of here, Zoka Tali, right here the we release Jesus. the power of God Mazine. into the Waves right Bobo now Bobo to, bring to bring your wholeness. Yes, Kalebo Satayara. Every sick home, every sick apartment, yes. every heaviness in the name of Jesus, Go. we command you out. Yes. Then the third one, he said, I hurt my back towards the end of February. Not only did the pain last longer than expected, mm. it moved to my groin area. I had the pain when I sit, walk, or when I lay down. Mm. Nothing seems to ease the pain. On the 17th of April, it was so bad that I couldn't continue at work. Instead of taking care of my patients, I myself became a patient at oh, work. Wow. All tests were negative.
But the pain persisted. During the April Global Marathon prayers, wow. Pastor Fessor prayed with water. He said to flush yeah, out yeah. every ailment and bring healing to our bodies as we drink. To God be the glory, the pain was flushed away since that glory. day. Woo! Glory. And never came back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just do. praise Father, God. Can you praise him where you are? Now, Joe for what is about to do, you, Father, we, we praise you, you for the you, testimonies. You. What you will do today, yes. come on, everybody, wherever yes. you are, praise lift up a voice of praises of appreciation for this testimony. When you appreciate God for what He has done, you are presenting the platform for what you will do. Lift up His name, Father, we glorify you. Yes, we glorify you. I think we need to praise God more on this platform. You know, we come, we bombard God with so many things. And, and, and so many things are being done by God. Yes. Some people don't come to give testimony, yeah, uh -uh. and some do. Wow. You know, but I just want us to take the next yes. two minutes. Let's Father everybody, Lord, Father, we praise Father, you. We, worship we you, praise we you. Since 2014, thank you, thank you, thank for the diverse you. miracles, you, Lord, for the diverse for miracles, you, Lord, for the diverse Lord, move of God on this thank platform. You, Lord, Father, we give you praise. Everybody, wherever you are, keep praising Him. If God has ever touched you on this platform, Praise him. If you know anyone that God has touched, praise God. Father, we give you glory. Even for what God will do today. Kalebo so we give you glory. We give you honor in advance for what you will do. Ah, yeah, yeah. I can sense the river yes. of glory, the river of healing, yes. the river of deliverance, yes. rivers of breakthroughs flowing right now. This river will flow to you. It will reach your house. It will reach your career. This river will wash away anything in the name of Jesus. So, as you want to say the next move, Yes, Jesus said all things are ready. But look at 21. So the servant came and showed the Lord these things. The master of the house, being angry, said to him, Go quickly to the street, mm. to the lames, to the, to the lames of the city, and bring in the poor, mm. and the maimed, and the halt, and the blind. Mm. That is, those who were invited, they gave all kinds of excuses. Mm. One said, I just bought a land, I needed to go and see it. One said, I just got married. And I had to stay with my wife. Another bought a colt, I mean a horse. Yeah. He has never tried it. And he All bought it. <laughs> <laughs> he bought it without, without trying it. Anyway. All kinds Just of excuses. excuses. But one thing is so constant. Pastor Antonio, with those people, they were satis satisfied. Hmm. They were full. They had enough. They were not hungry. They, they, had no, they, they didn't yeah. have a sense of need. Yeah. And because of that, they had no need for it. Testing, you know, so he said, go and bring those who were maimed, mm. halted. Those who have needs and they know they have needs. Mm. Those who needs are obvious. Mm. So we have people that I call them antagonistic invitees. Mm. You know, invitees are they antagonize you. And uh, that was what happened when the, the man of God came and said, by this time tomorrow, everything will change. Who will not be happy that... It's, people have been eating their children. Right. And God said, I'm going to change it. And this man said, oh, he antagonized them. He said, even wow. if God will open window wow. in heaven, it won't happen. Wow. You know, I don't want it to be an antagonistic invitee today. God has invited you all things already. Okay. Don't okay. allow the spirit of fear to tell you, eh, it's not going to happen. Or oh, the spirit of sameness. Yeah, sameness. Yeah. Yeah. That is not going to happen. Then we have the unwilling invitee. You know, those are these people now. They, they are willing because they were full. But we have those who are willing and ready. As I want, I think. If you are willing and obedient, yes. you will eat the good. Come and say, I am willing, Lord. Am willing. Come on, say, Father, I am ready today. I am willing. I am ready. I am willing. I am ready. Let that be your prayer. Say, Father, I am willing. I am ready for your touch. I am willing. I am ready for your manifestations. Father, Whatever is in my heart that may hinder your move, let it be cleansed. Whatever is in my life that can hinder your move, let it be removed. I am ready. I am ready. I am willing. I am ready. Zora Basakaya. Yes. We declare this marathon a supernatural platform now. We declare today to be. Pressure, yes. Deeper, yes. Greater. The manifest presence of God. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The power of God to yes. destroy everything that is not of God in your heart. Yes, we no agree. Are on the surface of yes, we are. 
As you are witnessing this marathon, nations will witness the impact Amen. of this marathon. Amen. Amen. They will witness a positive impact. Amen. You won't have to tell people. They Amen. will see. It. They Hallelujah. will see. It. They Hallelujah. will see. It. They Amen. will see. It. They will see. It. They will see. It. All things are ready, are ready, including your own. Amen. And today you will carry it. Y yes. You will experience you it. Your portion. You will enjoy it. Hallelujah. We bless you today. So With the name of God, the Father, the Amen. Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. in Jesus' name. Right now, we go. You yes. go to the sanctuary yes. and yes. begin to. Today. She's going to pick it up at the sanctuary right now, amen. And after her, I will come. So continue to, uh, to set your mind, set yourself ready for what God is about to do. Uh, and this, and what God is going to do, is doing already, amen. We show forth in your life. He said, this is the doing of the Lord. It is marvelous in our sight. I, I, at the Edens, we say, the Lord has done this. Even unbelievers will see it, they will marvel. So shall it be, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Come on, let's go right now to the sanctuary with Dr. Anthony as he takes it out, the fire prophetess. Then I will come after her. Come on, let it roll. Be blessed, and I'll see you shortly. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. What an opening already by the general overseer. All things are ready. Listen, you need to take your portions today in the name of Jesus. I love what he said. I will not be an antagonistic invitee. I will not be an unwilling invitee. Let's pray. We need to pray. I want you to say that to yourself. We are all going to be willing in Jesus' name. Let's say, say in the name of Jesus, as the dead pant after the water brooks, in Jesus' name. Lord, help me to long for you. Help me to pant after you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to say this with me. Lord, I am here. I am here today. I am here with hunger in my heart. I am here to collect my portions. I'm here to collect my healing. I'm here to collect my deliverance. I'm here to collect my direction. I want you to personalize that. What are you here to collect? Lord, I'm here to collect more anointing. I'm here to collect instructions. I'm here, Lord God, to collect, Lord God, resources needed for the lifting, Lord God, my next dimensions. In the mighty name of Jesus, continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray by the authority in the name of Jesus. My second level, second day, I decree in Jesus' name. Get ready to say amen. I decree in the name of Jesus because you came for this marathon. Another will not take your good portions. Another will not take your good portions. Say amen. I know that we not take your place in destiny. Say amen. Why don't you sing a song to the Lord? Why don't you bless the Lord? Wherever you are, bless the Lord with a song. Just bless the Lord. Let us appreciate him. What a good God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a caring Father. Lord God, we give you praise. Lord God, we give you glory. Lord God, we give you honor. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to start praying wherever you are. We are stepping into the month of June. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping all of us. Thank you for bringing us this far. Thank you, Lord God, Heavenly King, for what you are doing on this already. My Lord and my God, let's begin to soak the month in the blood of Jesus. Let's pray over the month of, of June. To thank God, begin to thank God for the many blessings from January to today. Oh God, we give you praise. Begin to soak the month in the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord Jehovah, oh Lord Jehovah, oh Lord Jehovah, for bringing us into this new month of June. I soak the remaining hours of May and the whole month of June. I soak in the blood of Jesus. I am covered in the blood. I am covered in the blood of Jesus. From the beginning, Lord God, from this day, Lord God, through the new month and beyond. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare and declare. My second devotion now. Begin to declare and declare that the blood of Jesus it speaks life over your family members. The blood of Jesus speaks protection. The blood of Jesus speaks provision. Continue to pray where you are. 
continue to pray that throughout this month by the authority in the name of jesus the blood speaks over me the blood speaks over my families the blood speaks over everyone lord god joining us today in the mighty name of jesus wherever you are i want you to reject the lord of Caesarea in judges 5 26 to 28 you can read it later the man asked for water but he was given milk he, he, he drank i call it he drank the milk of death he slept the sleep of death as Caesarea traveled on a journey of no return i want you to pray for yourself where you are pray for your loved ones let us pray for one another that our portion this is now our portion from this day throughout the new month throughout the year in the name of jesus i want you to say it. say in the name of jesus i will not go on a journey of no return i will not go on a journey of no return my spouse will not go on a journey of no return none of my children will go on a journey of no return hey rcc members we will not go on journeys of no return continue to pray say my trips will not become public news due to negativities throughout this month I'm we will go back and forth by the authority in the name of jesus i hope you are vibrating you are vibrating you are praying this is serious throughout the month of june by the authority in the name of jesus we will go back and forth god will keep us safe we will go back and forth god will surround us he will surround our family in the mighty name of jesus my second shanda begin to declare by faith decree with boldness decree with boldness by faith say in the name of jesus my portion this new month is protection my portion is peace my portion is prosperity by the authority of by the authority in the name of jesus this month new month that we are stepping in and the few hours remaining by the blood of jesus my portion is peace my portion is protection my portion is prosperity begin to pray begin to pray by the authority in, the name of jesus. in jesus name we pray i want you, wherever you are as pronouncement i want you to say type fire branded amen in the mighty name of jesus as long as the lord lives for attending this marathon in the mighty name of jesus god's promises expressions over your life based on leviticus 26 3 god will favor you god will honor you god will make you fruitful say amen he will multiply you he will give you riches he will give you wealth beyond your labors god will give you riches beyond favor you will lay down you will live peaceful by the authority in the name of Jesus, you will dwell secure. You will dwell securely. You will dwell, dwell securely. For none will make you afraid. No will make you afraid. By the authority in the name of Jesus, my second candle second In Jesus' name, we pray. We are still praying over the month. We are going to call the month by name. We are going to program blessings into the womb of this month. Psalms 1, 1, 1, 10, verse 3. Every day as a womb, every month as a womb, every year as a womb, we are going to speak to the month of June. Every, it's not, it does not only have a womb, it also has ears. Everything has ears. Jesus, he spoke to the storm, uh, and the storm had him. That means the storm had ears. The storm still has ears. Jesus spoke to the trees in Mark 11. The tree had him. God spoke to the fish that the fish will swallow Jonah, jo Jonah 2.10. To swallow him and to release him. The fish had ears. Everything has ears. You are going to pray. You are going to call forth the month of June. You are going to speak like the month of June. Hear your voice. You are going to speak over the month of June. You are going to pray because it has womb and it has ears. Say, oh, month of June. Oh, month of June. Oh, month of June. As Ezekiel spoke to the dry bones and as God spoke to the fish, hey, hear my Oh, month of June, conceive into your womb and deliver into my family. Says, blessing spoken in Psalm 68, verse 90. Oh, month of June, conceive and deliver everyday blessing upon my spouse, everyday blessings upon me, everyday blessings upon my children, everyday blessings upon ASCC members. He said, God daily loves us with benefit. Makanda, Reba, Sakanda. Oh, month of June, deliver into our lives everyday blessing by the authority. Jesus, conceive and deliver. 
commanded blessings. Come save. We have daily blessings. We have commanded blessings. We have unstoppable blessings. I want you to pray because I'm not here to preach. Wherever you are, join me and begin to declare and declare it. Oh, month of June, conceive and deliver commanded blessings. Conceive and deliver unstoppable blessings. Conceive and deliver undeniable blessings. Conceive and deliver uncommon blessings into my life, into my family. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray that throughout the month of June, pray for a pass of destiny. Pray for a pass of destiny. Oh, month of June, I call for a pass, a pass of destiny. So from the north, from the south, from the west, from the east, I call for courageous workers. I hope you are praying with me. Call for courageous workers. Call for chosen workers. A pass. Call for committed helpers, committed helpers of destinies, just helpers of destinies, chosen helpers of destiny, covenant helpers of destinies. Continue to pray, continue to pray. Also pray that God, Father, make me some this helper of destiny, not just one person. Father, use me, O oh Lord, as uh, Lord God, an helper of destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are still praying over the month of June. We are still praying. Say, oh, month of June. Oh, month of June. After the order of Genesis 2, 19, whatever Adam called the living creature, he became, oh, month of June. I want you, wherever you are, start to rename the month of June. Rename the month of June. Say, oh, month of June, I rename you my month of power, my second devotion. I feel the strong presence of the Almighty God here. I want you to customize that prayer, customize it for your family, customize it for yourself. Oh, month of June, rename the month of June. Oh, month of June, I rename you my month of intimacy. God, I will be intimate with God this month by the authority in the name of Jesus. I will hit the word of God. My heart will pant for the Lord. I want you to begin to speak. Continue to speak over the month of June. Say, oh, month of June, I rename my month of advancement, my month of good report. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want to name it. Is it your month of favor? Whatever it is, continue to pray, continue to pray. Say, oh, month of June, hear the word of the Lord. You shall be to me, Antonia. You shall be to my family. A month of peace like a river. You shall be to us. A month of showers of blessings. You shall be to us. A month of discovery. A month of recovery of precious things. A month of restoration of good things and good relationships. In the mighty name of Jesus. A month of good reports and pleasant surprises. Father, in the name of Jesus, this month of June, the work of my hands will grow. Pray for yourself. Are you a business person? Are you a student? Whatsoever you do, pray over the month of June. That this month of June, the work of my hand will grow. It will enlarge. ASC will advance. ASC will enlarge. In the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Based on John 10, 9. Myself and my family. We shall go in, we shall go out, we will find pastures for our souls. We shall find rest for our souls. We shall find peace for our souls. This month of June, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, there will be no evil, there will be no sorrow. We shall go in, we make us afraid, we shall go in and out, we shall find rest for our souls, we shall find peace for our souls. My second in Jesus' name we pray. Can you? And shout, Thunderous Faith Field, Amen. I'm going to make some pronouncements in the next one minute. I want to say, Amen. I want you to shout, Amen. I want you to write and type. Fire branded, water flowing, Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, say, Amen. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. This month of June, there shall be no emergency. Hallelujah. Say amen. In your family, in my family, no trouble, no sorrow, no evil reports. After the order of Isaiah 33, 24, the Bible says, nobody, no, no inhabitant of Zion will say I am sick. None in your family will say I am sick. None in my family will say I am sick. None in ASCC will say I am sick. No death, no sorrow, no will say. I'm depressed. No one will say I am, I am, I am, I am, I am famished. I am fatigued. But the authority in the name of Jesus. Say I am sick. 
and uh, no we say I'm broke, no we say I'm depressed, no we die. I hope you are praying with me in the mighty name of Jesus. After the order of Isaiah 3 10, it is well with you. It is well with you. Say amen. It is well with you. Throughout this month, it is well with you. Throughout this month and beyond, good things will happen to you now at this marathon. Even as we are praying. As I'm decreeing and declaring, I am hearing in my spirit. Oh, good packages have been delivered into your homes. Good packages have been delivered into your family. I see someone receiving the green card in the month of June. Father, I give you praise for it. I give you glory for it. By the authority in the name of Jesus, good things will happen to you throughout the month of June. Good things will happen in our families. Your good living will pay off. Your smart work will pay off. Your hard work will pay off. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Good things will happen in ASCC. There shall be restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Isaiah 42, 22. The general of us here shared this scripture and I love it very much. It said, but people robbed and plundered. All of them are snared in holes. That is, they are trapped. There are people in your families, in my family, in the, you know, out there in the world, that they are trapped in holes. Their destinies are trapped. They are hidden in prisons. Not just physical prisons, spiritual prisons. Because the Bible says nobody is standing in the gap for them. Nobody is calling for restoration. Ah, Sander. I don't know if you are out there and you want to join me. If you are out there, you want, to, you want us to walk together to work for the Lord and decree restoration and pull these people from the kingdom of darkness. Your families, you have them. I have them. We all have them. People that are stuck in holes. We are going to pray. We are going to pray as God's battle axes. We stand in the gap. Wherever you are saying the name Jesus, I stand as the battle axe of the Lord. I shout, restore, 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 restore. Begin to intercede for people. Begin to intercede for friends. Begin to intercede for family. Ah, Makende. And our God, Heavenly King, we stand in the gap. We are calling forth. Restore, restore. Destinies that are trapped. We pull you out. We pull out children. We pull out men. We pull out women. I pull out troubled marriages. Pull that businesses. I pull you out from holes where you are trapped. I pull you out. I pull you out. My second ocean. I pull out sick health. We declare and declare. Let begin to shout restore. Restore. Restore our kids. I don't know who you want to pray for. I don't know who you are standing in the gap for. The Bible says nobody is saying restore. So you begin to say restore. Restore in the name of Jesus. Restore that marriage. Name. Restore that business in the name of Jesus. Restore that family. Restore us, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are going to ask for fresh oil. Matthew 25, 1 to 4. You can read that later. We are going to be Christians, you know, that are, that, 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 that we, we are hungry for the Lord. Hungry for the presence of the Lord. Far-sighted Christians. Practical Christians, sensible. I remember this song. I believe maybe I, I heard about it when I was a Catholic. I'm not sure anymore. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. If you know it, join me. Give me oil in my lamp. I pray. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Sing goes at night. Sing Gozana, do you know it? Make me a fisher of men, keep me sick. Make me a fisher of men, I pray. Make me a fisher of men, keep me sick. Seeking, seeking so still Jesus comes again. Seeking so still Jesus comes again. Seeking souls till Jesus comes again. Give me oil in my lamp. Father, Lord God, I want to be burning for you. I don't want to be lukewarm. I don't want to fall by the wayside. I don't want to be so strong in the things of the world. When it comes to things of God, then I, I, I'm ignorant. We are going to turn that into prayers. Turn that music song. Turn it into prayers. Wherever you are, say, Lord God, Heavenly King, give me oil in my lamp. My Father, I need oil. I need oil. I need fresh oil every day. 
make me a soul winner, make me a God lover, Lord God, heavenly king, begin to pray. Ask for fresh oil. You need the oil of God for whatever you do in life, for that business, for that marriage, for that you need the oil of God, you need the anointing of God, you need the grace of God for the things of your own life and for kingdom assignment. Say, oh Lord, my father, oh Lord, my father, anoint my head till my cup runs over. Anoint my head till my cup runs over. Anoint my head with oil. Pour your grace upon my lips. Begin to pray. Continue to pray. Say, Lord, my Father, make me a wise Christian. Make me a far-sighted Christian. Make me a practical and sensible Christian by the authority in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord my God, give me hunger for souls. Give me oil. Keep me burning for you, oh Lord. I receive fresh oil. I hope you are praying with me. Say, I receive fresh oil for kingdom assignment. I receive fresh oil for the things of my own life. Why don't you customize that prayer? Ask for oil for your business. Ask for oil for your marriage. Ask for oil for that child. Ask for oil. The things that are difficult in your family. The things you are crying over. Ask for oil. You just lost a loved one. Instead of being depressed, say, oh Lord, my father, give me the grace. Put oil upon my head. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, I pray for your people my second candle second day for each and everyone in the name of Jesus Lord God for fresh joy fresh grace which is draw strength from the well of salvation which is you will draw success from the well of salvation which is draw wisdom which you will draw ideas which is you will draw concepts, innovations, knowledge from the well of salvation. Amen. 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 Are you ready? I'm still declaring over your life. Listen, I feel so strong. The presence of God is so strong. I want you to collect your blessings with fire branded amen, flowing like rivers of water. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will not run out. Say amen. Your eye will not run out. You will not be empty. Your destiny will not be empty. Your life will not be empty. Your career, your business, your family will not be empty. As the wise ladies did not run out of oil. You will not run out of favor. You will not run out of oil. You will not run out of time. You will not run out of money. By the authority in the name of Jesus, God sent me to prophesy. And I said, Lord, should I prophesy about God said that you come and tell us as surely as the Lord lives <laughs> as surely as the Lord lives and God said fill in the gap as surely as the Lord lives God said fill in the gap what does this mean it means certainly it means whatsoever you are going to say will definitely happen when you say as surely as the Lord lives we know God lives forever. So it's like an oath. You are saying that with validity, that with assuredness, that this will surely happen. God said, I should come and decree and declare that, that you, you are going to pray it. I'm going to pray it. We're going to make pronouncement by faith that as surely as the Lord lives. And please be in the spirit so you can customize it based upon your need. Maybe you are believing God for the fruit of the womb. You are believing for children you are going to say as surely as the lord lives i will carry my baby as surely as the lord lives i will live i will not die as surely as the lord lives i am the head i'm not the chair god said we are going when you decrease when you pray angels of god discharge to take your order to take your order my second devotion in second kings so you can understand it very well in the book of Second Kings, chapter two, verse two, when Elijah said to Elisha, "Stay here, for the Lord has told me to go to Bethel," but guess what Elisha said? Elisha said, "Ah, uh -uh. as surely as the Lord lives, and you yourself live, I will never leave you." That is, ain't gonna happen. I'm not going to leave you. When you say, "As surely as the Lord lives," you are saying, "It's done." It's a done deal. Whatever I'm going to say, nothing is going to change it. Because we know God lives forever. God lives forever. So that thing will take place. When Solomon used the same expression, before we pray, I want you to understand it. When Solomon used the same expression in 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 24, look at what he said. He said, so now, as the Lord lives, 
That's that phrase again. As the Lord lives, Adonijah shall indeed be put to death today. <laughs> I don't want to tell you what happened. Adonijah was killed that day because he said, as, as surely as the Lord lives, as surely as the Lord lives, it's like a note that this, whatever I'm going to say, must surely happen. So God said, Dora, every pronouncement of faith made in like manner will come to pass. I declare and declare over your lives. Everyone receiving this with fire branded, amen. With faith filled, amen. As surely as your God lives, what looks difficult will become easy. Ah, uh, what looks impossible will become possible. Those that have been rejected, ah, uh, under the sound of my voice, you have been rejected. I don't know whether for immigration or in a relationship, those who have been rejected, you will be embraced, you will be accepted, you will be saved. What is lost will be found. The authority in the name of Jesus, as surely as the Lord lives, good things swallowed will be sold out, evil values will be reversed, and the stone will by the builders has become the chief cornerstone. I want you to say and decree that to yourself. Surely, as surely as the Lord lives, the stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're going to pray. We're using Second Kings chapter one. The Bible says that the sons of the prophet they went to Elisha. They said, "Oh, where we are living is too small." Ha. Huh. I decree those in businesses. You are in business. Those in ministries. I decree and declare where you are becomes too small. Because your business will boom. So I decree in Jesus' name where you are is too small for you. God will catapult you to a larger place. Your car is too small. Amen. Your house is too small. Because when it's too small, God is moving you to a higher one. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Why the sons of prophets? They were going to build a new place. And one, as one was using the axe to strike the tree. The axe fell into the river. And he said, alas, my, my Lord, I borrowed it. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. You will not lose your cutting edge. Say amen. You will not lose your job. Whatever good thing, thing that you are holding will not fall from your hands. Whatever is good that you have lost, gifts, talents, skills, relationships, in the name of Jesus, marriage, I don't know what it is. It will come back to you. It will come floating back to you. In the name of Jesus, say, my father, my father, my father, God of power, my Whatever the axe head represents in my life, whatever the axe head represents in my family, whatever the axe head represents in my church, whatever the axe head represents in my business, Lord God, I call upon you for recovery. I call upon you for recovery. I call upon you for recovery. I want you to pray, say, as surely as the Lord lives, axe head of my good name, axe head of my health, axe head of my marriage, axe head of my business must float to me again. Must again, must float again. Outside of my business, outside of my hair, must flow to me again. It must be recovered by the authority in the name of Jesus. I said, must flow again. Remember, Elisha put a stick and he said, Where did he where did he fall? Put a stick and the and the accent floated in Jesus' name. Your own accent will float to you. It will flow to you again. You know it is important. Naturally, scientifically, for the axe head to flow. But because the power, there is nothing the power of God cannot do. With the power of God, he floated. You are going to pray, say, my father, my father, my father. Possible. Every impossibility of my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, as the stake thrown into the river, Lord God, heavenly king, represent Lord God the cross. My father, my father, my father, by the power of the cross, good things lost by me, good things stolen from me. I hope you are praying along with me. Good things lost by me. Things stolen from me, oh God, good things buried, good things delayed. Ah, the good plans of God delayed for your life. Singles, the good plans of marriage delayed for your life. They are floating back to you, they are flying back to you, they are flying back to you, they are making their way to so connect with you. Let's pray that to again. Say, as surely as the Lord lives, the good things that have lost, the good things that are buried, the good things that have been delayed, as the axe head floated in the 
name of Jesus, they are floating back to me. They are flying back to me. I call them forth wherever they are. In the name of Jesus, the good things belonging to me. They are floating. They are floating. They are floating. They are coming back. They are flying back to you. In the name of Jesus, my second devotion. They will connect to you. Father, I connect and I collect. I connect and I collect. I want you to say wherever you are, say this with me, say whatever axe head that I have lost will flow to me and be recovered. Whatever is lost will be found. Say that with me, say that with me, say as surely as the Lord lives, whatever is lost will be found. Saul's father's donkeys were lost, but the now was swallowed by the fish and it came out of the fish or not. Sarah carried her baby at old age. As an immigrant with no green card, he became the queen of a nation. As surely as the Lord lives, in the name of Jesus, my head, my axe head will float again. What is lost will be found. Impossibility will become possible. Negative values will turn. As surely as the Lord lives, in the name Jesus, hey, my second Kanda, second Kanda. In Jesus' name, we pray. Second prayer point, we are rounding up. As surely as your God lives, evil verdict will change to good. It doesn't matter how bad that verdict is. It doesn't matter whether the stamp of government is upon it. That evil verdict will reverse in your favor. It will reverse in your favor. As surely as the Lord lives. The, the book of Daniel, go and read it, chapter 3. The Hebrew boys, the fire was heated seven times. They found strong men to tie them. They threw them into the fire. The fire was so that those who threw them into the fire, they, got, they were burnt, they were roasted right there. But guess what? Those three boys, they were thrown into the fire, but there was a fourth man waiting for them in that fire so that the fire became like an conditioned place. They were walking. They were thrown there, tied up. But because of the power of God, they verdict against their lives. It turned around. It reversed. Those who were bound, they began to walk. You are walking over the fire. Whatever is that storm, as surely as the Lord lives, you will walk over it. You will walk over it. You will come out of that fire untouched. You will come out of that fire and it will not burn you. You will come out of that water. It will not overwhelm you. Are you Ready to rumble in prayers? Are you ready to pray? My second level, Kanda second day. Ye Makanda second level, Shanda. Ya Kanda Baba. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray where you are. That the verdict must turn. It must be reversed by the authority in the name of Jesus. Say, whatever fire is raging, whatever storm is roaring, is in that. It's inhibited. I render it powerless in the name of Jesus. It will not have power over you at the nick of time. My second devotion. Let somebody shout at the nick of time. At the nick of time, God delivers you now. God delivers you now by the authority in the name of Jesus. I pray evil verdict, evil words, evil expectations, evil arrangement turn to favor you, turn to flavor your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing some things. I saw like a fire, like in a home, in a marriage, put out right now by the, by the Holy Ghost. That fire is out. No more confusion. No more unnecessary argument. I decree peace in that marriage. Father, thank you, Lord God. Are you ready to rumble in prayer? Say, oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. God of power and might, I call upon you for your divine intervention. Nothing is too difficult for you. How many you believe with me that nothing is too difficult for our God? As surely as the Lord lives, I call forth, Lord God, your divine intervention. Nothing is too difficult for you, O oh Lord. By your power, the Hebrew boys did not burn. They were preserved. Oh Lord Jehovah. Oh Lord Jehovah. Oh Lord Jehovah. Oh Lord it against Mordecai chain. He will it against the Hebrew boys chain. My father, my father, my father. Any law, any system, anything, anyone, stand as negative verdict. 
Pray for yourself. Anyone, any law standing as negative verdict against your life or is hanging in the hair, walking against anyone or my loved one. Father, in the name of Jesus, my second devotion, as surely as the Lord lives. Father, I thank you for your intervention. Turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. In the name my second day about Shandra Basana say God of power and might as surely as the Lord lives I want you to begin to pray for yourself I don't know what you are going through I want you to personalize that prayer say as surely as the Lord lives as surely as the Lord lives I don't know what it is as God as surely as the Lord lives you will carry your baby as surely as the Lord lives you will get your green card with that green card you will travel all over the world as surely as the Lord lives singles you will be married as surely as the Lord lives I don't know whether you are sick as surely as the Lord lives let the healing power of God flow through your bodies right now in the mighty name of Jesus as as surely as the Lord lives, I rebuke that spirit of depression. I command it out of your life. I command it out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I see a door opening, a door of opportunity that has been closed against you for years. As surely as the Lord lives, that door opens now in the mighty name of Jesus. I am hearing in my spirit that the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. Peter and the angel go to the city gates and the city opened by itself. Baba Sander, no more holding you. Nothing we hold that business. Nothing we hold your shiny. Nothing we hold your success. Every door, even before you get there, we open of its own accord. You will walk freely. You will, you will, you will fly freely. You will achieve success easily. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are, you are customizing that prayer for yourself. Hallelujah. Turn that amen. Let it roll like rivers of water. In the mighty name of Jesus, as surely as the Lord lives, evil valley turns to favor you. Everything happening will work for your good. God will promote you. I hope you are saying amen. No matter how difficult, God will turn it around. Your negative value must change in your favor. They have told you no. As surely as the Lord lives, your no will change to yes. Difficult situations will change. What looks difficult becomes easy. As surely as the Lord lives, what looks impossible becomes possible. To all those that have been rejected, as surely as the Lord lives, you will be embraced. Those that have been rejected, I say it again, as surely as the Lord lives, you will be embraced, you will be accepted, you will be celebrated. As surely as the Lord lives, what is love will be found. Both things swallowed will be spilled out. Jonah came out of that fish. David came out of that pit. As surely as your God lives, all things will work out for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever you are, personalize that prayer. Ah, get radical. Personalize that prayer as surely as the Lord lives. In Rabba Sikanda, as surely as the Lord lives, ASCC winners are we're taking over New York. ASCC commission, as surely as the Lord lives, we're taking over the world. We are pulling people out of the kingdom of darkness into the marvelous light of God as surely as the Lord lives as the world covers the seas ALCC will cover the whole world for the kingdom of God to the glory of his name pray for yourself pray for yourself you are fired up you have the anointing of God as surely as the Lord lives uh, put in your promise of God put in what you want as surely as the Lord lives you will carry twins as surely as the Lord lives you will buy your own house I receive the keys to your house in Jesus name we pray last prayer point as surely as the Lord lives you will not fall from grace to grass. Daniel 4 31. A voice came from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is declared, the kingdom has been removed from you, and you'll be driven away from mankind, and your dwelling place will be with the animals of the field. Jeremiah 7 24. He reads, it says, they turned and went backward instead of forward. You will not go backward. Your health will not go backward. Your life will not go backward. Your finances will not go backward. Nebuchadnezzar fell. He went from the palace to the wilderness. The butler and the baker, they went from the palace to the prison. Amen. Went from the palace to the gallows. 
you will not become an ex. Ex important. Ex anointed. What the Lord has done for you, it is permanent. Ecclesiastes 3.14, what the Lord has done for you, it is irreversible. Arabasike ne. The Lord did not, the world did not give you, the world can't take it away. I don't know what it is. Every good thing that you have, God gave to you, the world did not give you, the world can't take it away. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. My second rebel. Say, Oh Lord Jehovah. Oh Lord Jehovah. Oh Lord Jehovah. God of power and might, in the name of Jesus, my destiny. Please, wherever you are, pray this prayer seriously. Pray for yourself. Pray for your loved ones. Your destiny rejects evil reversal. My good will not turn to evil. My good death will not reverse. Pray for yourself. My good health will not reverse. My good marriage will not reverse. My good career will not reverse. My good business will not reverse. My destiny, my good destiny, it will not reverse. As something is good, it will not go backward. It will not go backward. Your children will not that they get better and better everything good in my life reject reversal of good to evil pray for your loved ones C customize that prayer and the sakanda customize that prayer for yourself by the authority in the name of jesus as surely as the lord lives proverbs 4 18 is your portion by the authority in the name of jesus the part of the just is a shiny light that shines brighter and brighter by the authority in the name of jesus as surely as the lord lives God will move you from honor to honor. He will move you from increase to increase. He will move you from glory to glory. By the authority in the name of Jesus, your God will not reverse into evil. You will not fall from grace to grass. I reject that for you in the mighty name of Jesus. As surely as the Lord lives, your breakthroughs. Hey, are you ready to turn down your amen? Your breakthroughs will not become breakdowns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your breakthroughs will not become breakdowns. Your blessings will not be reversed. Grace will not become disgrace. Your gold will not become brass. As surely as the Lord lives, in the mighty name of Jesus, God will give you multiple in one miracle. Harabasakada. Receive your multiple in one miracle. Joseph just wanted to come out of that prison. He just wanted one miracle. But inside that one miracle, there were multiple, multiple miracles. Arabasakanda, Arabashanda, the prodigal son, he just wanted to go back home. That father, just let me be one of your servants. He just wanted one miracle. That one miracle, bam. He gave him many miracles. After the orders of Joseph and the prodigal son, where you are expecting one miracle, God will give you multiple blessings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. As surely as your God lives, for the troubles that you have gone through, for the troubles you have gone through over that marriage, over your head, over your family, for the troubles you have gone through, God will give you multiple one miracle say amen in your business as surely as the lord lives god will give you multiple in one miracles in your family in your career as surely as the lord lives the word of god psalm 84 verse 7 will find its expression over your life you will go from strength to strength you will go from strength to strength you will not be weary you will not be tired you will go from glory to glory honor to honor you will increase in victorious powers all things are ready custom make your brain truth begin to cause and make your benefit in the name of jesus as surely as the lord is i will live long i will not die i will live i will not die as surely as the lord lives my family begins to enjoy a new order of generational blessings of wellness of unity as surely as the Lord lives, Iramasikene, this month, in my family, in your family, everyone watching me, you will go in and out. You will find rest for your souls. You will go in and out. You will find peace for your souls. This month, you will go in and out. No one will make you afraid. You will go in and out. Arabasikene, God will be a wall of fire around you. This month, throughout this new month we are stepping into, your sleep will be sweet. Your dreams will be sweet. Bakandaria, Bakandara, Basikendere, Boshanda. So shall it be. Begin to customize this. Those who want babies, those who want green care, customize the prayer as I'm rounding up for attending this marathon. Get ready to roll your amen. Ah, Rabababababashendere, Bosakanda. Let your amen, let it be like five per, per, per declaration. As surely as the Lord lives, after the order of Psalm 120, peace within your walls, peace within your family, peace 
peace within your business, peace in your career, as surely as the Lord lives in the name of Jesus, after the order of Psalms 41, 8 to 10, God will not give any of us over to death. Shout amen. All right, amen. God will not give you over to death. He will not give me over to death. He will not give any of our loved ones over to death. Not watching me will die. God will not give us over to death. He will keep us safe from traps set by evil doers. God will keep us safe. You will escape. You will escape on the job traps. You will escape on the way of life traps. Wherever traps are laid down, you will escape. By the authority in the name of Jesus, God will rescue you from wicked people. He will rescue you from them in Jesus' name. Their wickedness will boomerang. Because you came for this man. You will not eat the bread of sorrow. Say amen. You will not eat the bread of affliction. You will not eat the bread of tears. By the authority in the name of Jesus, based upon John 6, 35, your own bread and my bread, we will eat and we shall eat the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. We shall eat the bread of life as surely as the Lord lives, distributor of evil, distributor of curses, distributor of, of sicknesses. As you can see in Zechariah 5, 2, we will not come near you, we will not come near me, we not come near ALCC. Messenger of evil going around people's houses. We not come near our houses. In the name of Jesus. Messenger of bad news. We not come near our dwellings. You will not receive telephone call of sorrow. None of us will receive telephone call of sorrow. No emails, no text messages of evil. Whatever is flying around in the neighborhood where we live. Whatever consumes the inhabitants of our neighborhood. Whatever consumes the members of your families and my family at certain ages of their lives is rebuke concerning you. Say amen. It's rebuke. For Chronicles 12 18, he said, Peace, peace, peace. People will help you. Say amen. I decree peace. Peace in every area of your life. People will help you. God will help you. God fight your battles. You will be successful. As Elisha threw a stick in the water. Ah, and that axe head floated up. As G.O. comes. As the man of God comes. As this man of God. The general overseer of the end time harvest. As he comes. The Bible says Elijah took a stick. He threw it where, where the axe fell and the axe floated. As this man of God comes, and the anointing is flow through him, your axe will flow to you, your children will flow to you, your green card, whatsoever that axe is, it will flow to you. By the authority in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. I want you to start thanking God wherever you are. Let's thank God that all things are ready. Let's thank God for what God is doing. Let's thank God for the testimonies that come from this marathon. I am hearing in my spirit, there shall be praise parties. There shall be praise parties. There shall be many testimonies. So shall it be. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Father, we receive our general overseer with thanks, with appreciation. We thank you, God, for this gift of God for the body of Christ. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Can you put your hands together? For the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Shalom. Many, 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 many blessings to you. I know you are already being blessed, being empowered. Can we give God praise for what He's doing already? For the diverse manifestations of God right now in prayer, in worship. Can you praise Him for? For the hand of God that we've seen since the beginning with the New Dimension Choir with Elder Christian, Minister Busy, then uh, the fire prophetess, come on, wow, what a word, what a time of prayer. Can we worship God right now in anticipation of the continuous flow, continuous flow, continuous flow, continuous flow. Father, we give you praise. Ancient of days, we give you praise. Reba Saka, Yahweh, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, oh, oh. You are worthy of my praise. Yahweh, Yahweh. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 oh. you are worthy of my praise. I call you healer and healer. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 oh. you are worthy of my praise. 
Savior, Savior, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Go ahead. If he's worthy of your praise, give him all the praises due his holy name right now. Your appreciation is your down payment for the manifestations you desire. Your appreciation is a down payment for the manifestations you desire. Father, we appreciate you for what you are doing, for what you have done, for what you will do today. We give you praise. Get ready for an extraordinary experience. Get ready for a sonary breakthrough. God said I should instruct his people to listen to his voice. Don't allow anything to distract you. Don't even allow the fact that we are online to distract you. I remember one of the services like this. A sister couldn't, that was when we used to, to come on site on Fridays for our power night. A sister couldn't make it. She had excruciating pain. And she couldn't walk, and she 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 pull up her laptop, you know, with 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 little strength to watch the service. As I was ministering, she said the power of God flew, came through and touched her, and the pain disappeared immediately. And she gave the testimony the the two days after on the Sunday. There's somebody here. Don't allow the fact that we're watching online to distract you. The power of God is no respecter of, of geography. The power of God is no respecter of technology. The power of God flows through your screen right now and your connector, your connection is your faith. Today, I pray that you will experience God. You will experience grace. You will experience this power. Every divine visitation generates evidences. Every divine visitation generates divine uh, evidences. And we've already we, we, we've, we've tasted visitation through the ministration of Dr. Antonio. Powerful, powerful, fire ministration, powerful ministration. But God, amen, God is, is ready to take it higher and higher and higher to add more to the great things he already did in that last session. Hallelujah for evidences. Come and say, I'm ready for more evidences. I'm ready for more visitations. God does not visit a man or a woman without a seal. When God visited Jacob, he left evidence. Anytime God visits you, visit a family, visit a, a place, there must be a signature from heaven. I am so confident today that this God will visit you, he will leave evidences. This God will visit you, he will leave evidences. When he turned the captivity of, of Israel, the people, the hidden, they saw it. They said the Lord has done great things. They saw evidences after these prayers. Even those who don't believe in you, they will see the evidences. They will not be able to deny it. They will see the fame God God at work in your life and they will not be able to deny it. Jeremiah 15, 15, Oh Lord, thou knowest, remember me and visit me and revenge me of my persecutor. Oh God, thou knowest, remember me and visit me. Remember me and visit me. Whatever you are passing through, I pray that God will remember you for urgent visitation. God will remember you for urgent visitation. Come on, say, my father, my father, on this platform today, remember me for urgent visitation. Come on, say, Father, remember me today. Visit me urgently. Visit my family urgently. Visit this land urgently with your mercy. Visit my body. Visit my destiny. Visit my career. When God visits you, he leaves um, evidence. Evidence of joy, evidences of breakthrough, evidences of healing, evidences of glory. When God visits you, He changes your life. Come on, say, Father. Remember me today and visit me urgently. Visit my destiny urgently. This is a prayer platform. God said that August 6, 2014. Gather my people early morning. Marathon like prayer. And let them pray to me. He said, I am the Lord. I will baptize their destinies. I will change their destinies. So you are on the platform of prayer. Genesis 21 verse 1. The Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. God visited Sarah as he had said. Father, 
according to what you have spoken in my life, according to what you have spoken over my life, visit me for a turnaround. Visit me for a turnaround. Visit me, O oh God, and leave me in a permanent season of rejoicing. Visit my life with signs and wonders. The visitation of Sarah caused laughter. Her son, Isaac, laughter came out of it. By this platform, Father, visit my life and bring laughter out of it. Bring permanent rejoicing out of it. Visit me for fulfillment of your promises for my life. Visit me for the fulfillment of your promises. He visited Sarah as he had promised. Father, visit me for the fulfillment of your promises in my life. Come on, pray from your heart. Father, I am praying to you today by the authority in the name of Jesus. Visit me for the fulfillment of your promises over my over my spouse over my children over my household over my career if you have a business say father your promises to cause my business to flourish your promises to bless the work of my hand visit me fulfill that promise go whatever I has promised you over your health over your family cry to God today say father I receive your visitation for the fulfillment of your promises over my life in the name of Jesus my wife and I we had a visitation March 7 1999 a visitation and redefine the landscape of our life. A visitation of divine mandate to take the word of God, the word of faith, and preach it to liberate multitude from oppression and ignorance. And God has been backing it up since then. Hallelujah. Since then, the Holy Spirit spoke to me on this platform. He said, tell my people to pray with the authority of the mandate I gave you. As I am that I am. The authority of the mandate I gave you as I am that I am. Let them use it to pray today on this platform. Did you get that? The I am that I am showed up. He said, I don't visit many homes like this. He said, but I've come to your house today as I am that I am. I've heard your cry. I've heard you calling on me. And I've come to equip you with the breakthrough anointing. That anybody that is connected every day of his or her life shall be filled with joy. Every day. Are you connected? <laughs> Are you connected? Come on, say, Father, by the authority of your mandate given to Abundant Christian Center Commission and your servants every day of this year and of my life shall be filled with your joy. Come on, go ahead and pray. Come on, say, Father, by the authority of your commission, of your mandate given to pastors, pastors, and attorney, and DAA, I stand today to pray on that authority. Let each day of my life, let every day of this year, let each day of, of my family, let it be filled with your joy. Let it be filled with your joy. Let it be filled with your joy. God of heaven arise, fulfill your mandate of joy. Let it be fulfilled in my life because I am connected with this family of breakthrough because I am connected in this mandate of breakthrough you are given to your servant. Therefore, let your word, let your promise, let your, let your prophetic mandate that every day of my life shall be filled with joy. Let it be released. Let it be made manifest in my life in the name of Jesus every day shall be filled with joy whatever is not making for joy in your life is uprooted <coughs> in the name of Jesus is uprooted you will not experience sorrow come on say my father my father because I am connected with this mandate sorrow is removed from my life sorrow will not be my experience sorrow will not be my experience sorrow will not be my experience in the name of Jesus, Psalm 37, 18 to 19, the Lord knows the days of the upright, and his inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. In the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Hallelujah. You will not be ashamed. Come and say amen. I stand on the authority of the I am who sent us. Unless if he didn't send us. But by now you know God sent us. He sent us. Amen. He sent us. We are this is sent forth commission. A saint fought commission. I stand upon the authority of the I am that I am that sent us forth. I decree today you will not know, no, you will not know shame. You will not experience shame. Shame will not. <clears throat> 
be seen in your life. In the name of Jesus, every day of your life shall be filled with joy. In the name of Jesus, by the power of your mandate, none will experience shame. <laughs> he said, you, you will not be ashamed in the evil time. In the days of famine, you shall be satisfied. Hallelujah. Remember this year, our, our prophetic focus is restoration. God says he will restore to you the years, the locusts, the palm home, the caterpillar they have eaten. He said, my people shall eat in plenty. They shall be satisfied and they will not be put to shame. I decree upon your life. This is your year. This is your moment. You will eat in plenty. You will experience surplus. Shame is removed from you. Sorrow is removed from you. Come on, say, my father, my father, by your grace upon the SEC commission and your saint, servant, shame is permanent removed from my destiny. Are you praying or you are playing? Come on, say, my father, my father, by the authority of your saint, amen, servant, by the authority and your grace upon SCC and your saint servant, shame is permanently removed from my destiny. Father, by your grace upon the SCC commission and your saint servant, shame is permanently removed from my destiny. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, to be put to shame, amen, is to be defeated. I mean, it's not to be defeated, but to be victorious, to be victorious. Not to be put to shame. It's not to be defeated, but to be victorious. When you are not put to shame, when you are put to shame, you'll be defeated. But when shame is removed, <clears throat> defeat is removed. Victory becomes your portion. It means you will not fail. It means you will experience good outcome. <coughs> no loss, but profit. By the authority of the I am that I am, my family and I will not be put to shame. Go ahead and pray. Come on, pray boldly. If you are sitting, let your heart be vibrating at your mouth. If you are standing, let your let begin to vibrate. Come on, say, by the authority of the I am that I am, the God has sent four pastors, professors, and Antonia. They the I am that I am. I decree today, my family and I will not be put to shame. But they will experience victory. I will not experience shame in my health. I will not experience shame in my marriage for those who are married. I will not experience shame in my career. But victory in the name of Jesus, by, by your word, by your grace upon this commission, the SEC commission, and pastors, pastors, and attorney, I decree today that my family will not experience shame. I will not experience shame. I will not experience shame in my family. I will not experience shame in my health. I will not experience shame in my career. I will not experience shame over my household in the name of Jesus. Roma Zakata. Come on, pray in Holy Ghost wherever you are. Pray in Holy Ghost right now. Pray in Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost take over that prayer and begin to pray for you. You will not be put to shame. I decree it as a saint servant of God. Shame is removed from your career. Shame is removed from your life. All around you, glory will surround you. Honor will surround you in the name of Jesus. Come on, say, this this is my set time. Say it boldly. Come on, say, this is my set time. My God, I sense something happening here. This is not an ordinary prayer time. It's a revival. It's a revival time. Heaven is, is coming upon the earth to clothe his people with supernatural glory. I'm telling you, the heavens opened. Voice came. said, this is my son. The Holy Ghost descended upon him. And Jesus went straight to the wilderness and came back in the power of the Spirit. His destiny changed. Somebody, you are returning from this mountain of a canter with, a, with an authentic, genuine, amen, presence of God that will redefine your life. You are returning. You are returning. You will not return the same way you came. You are not ending this program the same way you came. You are ending it more powerful. You are ending it with freshness of God's power, with freshness of the anointing. Come on, say, my father, my father, clothe me with fresh fire of your Holy Ghost. Clothe me with fresh fire of your Holy Ghost as you endure Jesus with the power in the wilderness and in return in the power of the Spirit. Father, let me return from this mountain a change man, a change woman, a man, a woman full of your presence. Fill with your fire. Ayababa. Come on, say Holy Ghost fire. Let it flow. 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 Pray in tongue. Pray in tongue. Pray in tongue. Pray in tongue. If your tongue keep praying until your tongue changes. Malu vizina kikahua masenkete. Vozuza visakia makura besa. 
Elegundes, Mazuza Verosh, Makaliku Tufahriaya, Ilako Selibara, Rinezuza Pakikoko, Varanis, 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 Vro, Baye Viso, Vezoza Vizanika Kuakaya, Melogoto Ri, Varina Kuteposa. Yes, the fire that is coming. I'm hearing the voice of God. God says, Every fire the enemy set up to consume you. He said, this greater fire consumes it. <laughs> there is a fire that consumes fire. 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 God says, every fire, God says, every fire that has been set to consume any area of your life. To consume any area of your life. Today, this fire of the Holy Spirit, this fire of God's presence, this authentic fire comes upon you, comes upon your life to consume those fire, to consume those fire-like situations. Come on, go ahead and pray. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost invade you. Come on, say, Father, invade my life with a fresh baptism of your presence, of your Holy Ghost. Father, I receive it. I receive fresh baptism. Come on, keep saying that I receive fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost or the power from on high. I receive fresh baptism or the fire from on high. I desire it. I receive it. I ask for it. I embrace it now. It flows into my veins. It flows upon me. Father, I thank you for clothing me with your fresh fire from on high. In the name of Jesus, this is my Say time. Psalm 102, verse 13. He said, You will arise. Have mercy upon Zion. Have mercy upon your son and daughter. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at I mean, I'm watching me today. For the time to favor him or her. Yes, the set time has come. Come on, say this is my set time. Come on, say this is my Kairos time. K-A-I-R-O-S. It's your Kairos moment. This is your opportune time. The Lord, by his mercy, will answer you on this mountain. Divine mercy will speak for you. He said, the Lord will arise and have mercy. Today, mercy will speak for you on this mountain. Come on, say amen. Today, the mercy of the Lord will deliver you from any form of judgment. The mercy of the Lord, divine mercy, will prevent you from anything said to consume you. Come on, say amen. Whatever has been said to consume you, the mercy of the Lord <coughs> will, will deliver you. Will set you free. This is your set time. It's your Kairos moment in the name of Jesus. Set time for what? The Holy Ghost spoke to me clearly. He said, Tell my people that we show up today. This is your set time to be divinely helped. This is your come and say, This is my set time to be divinely helped. When the turn of Esther came, God helped her. When her tongue came, an orphan in a strange land became the queen of that land. 270 provinces, 270 states, from Ethiopia to India. The Lord helped her. The Lord helped her. The Lord helped her. The Lord helped her. The Lord helped you. May the Lord help you. May the help of God locate you. May the Jehovah help you today. May Jehovah help you today. May Jehovah help you today. Brothers and sisters, I am convinced in my heart what I heard from God. The help of God will locate you today. Divine help will locate you, my sister. Divine help will locate you, my brother. This is not because we've prayed it before. No, 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 no. This is really my prayer. I am saying to somebody who will receive it. Divine help will locate you where you need help. Help will locate you. The help of God eradicates impossibility. Today, the Lord will help you. According to Hebrews 13, 6, you will boldly say, say, the Lord is your help. You will not fear what the Lord would, what, the, what man will do to you. The help of God that will eradicate the fear, all forms of fear, that help will come to you today. In the name of Jesus, it shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus, come and say, Father, help me and give me victory over every issue of concern in my life. Can you pray? Come and say, Father, help me today. Give me victory over every issue of concern. Help me, Father, today and give me victory. Give me total breakthrough over every issue of my life. In the name of Jesus, Kalebo Sotopa. God will help you. Isaiah 57, for the Lord will help me. <laughs> Come on, say amen. Ah, Bible is just, the word of God is just too powerful and too potent 
to be argued against. The Lord God will help me. No controversy. And why and what will happen? Therefore, as a result of that, I will not be disgraced. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are times in the journey of life, in the race of life, there are certain situations that may, if they happen, they will bring a form of disgrace to us. But in moments like that, God steps in and God helps you. And when God helps you, he gives you victory. And what is supposed to bring disgrace will bring grace for a lifting and a joy. <laughs> Father, I pray today that you will help that man, that's, that woman, and you will eradicate every form of disgrace for me, so our life. Come and say, Father, I embrace your help today that we eradicate, that we remove every form of disgrace in the name of Jesus, out of my life, in the name of Jesus. So God says, it's your set time to be divinely helped. And I said, God, on what? He said, especially those who have issues of concern in their lives right now. Those who have issues of concerns in their lives right now. There was a time in First Samuel 11, 1 to 10, the New Living Translation, a city among the cities of the Israelis, it may have an issue. A king mounted uh, oppression, army against that city, the town called Jabesh Gilead. It meant to destroy the citizens. And the citizens there, they, they went to this king. The name of the king is uh, uh, Nahash. They said, King, please, one of the kings of the Ammonites said, Please, let's make a treaty. Have mercy on us. We're going to, we're going to do whatever he asks us to do. He said, Well, the only way I'm going to make a treaty is to pluck one of your eyes out. To pluck it out. They said, Okay, King, give us seven days to see if we're going to find help and then we'll come back to you. If there's no help, then you can pluck out our right eyes. Then we'll become your slaves. Ah! I don't know the issue of concerns. I want to take your vision. I want to take your future. Anything that takes your vision has take your future. Because your vision is your future. Your vision is your future. Today, anything and everything set to take your vision, to take your, the most precious thing in your life, or to afflict the most precious thing in your life, by the power of God, help will come to destroy it. Help will come for you to overcome it. Help will come for you to, restore, to, restore, to be restored, to regain your lost ground. Come on, say amen. Help will come for you. The people of Jabez Gilead, they went to Saul. They would cry out for him. Even the city they went, the people started crying when they heard their situation. Ah! Have you this situation that's bothering you? Tell people and people are crying for you. If that's you today, people will rejoice. Those who have cried amen, for you, they will rejoice with you. Those who have cried for you will rejoice with you. Those who have mocked you, who have laughed, amen, uh, laughed at you, they will laugh with you by the help of God that will locate you. Help came within 24 hours. That's where I'm going. Within 24 hours, help came for them. And they destroyed, dismantled, eliminated all the opposition, amen, that came against them. They stood tall. They went back to, to King Nahash. They said, now, do <clears throat> whatever you want to do. We're not going to allow you to take our eyes. We're not going to bow down to you. Somebody, I don't know what has been threatening you, but the help you will receive from this mountain, you will walk tall. At 24 hours, in circles of 24 hours, help will locate you, help will come to you, and you will walk tall. And the Bible says in verse 9, it said the people, of, by the reason of that news, great joy came to town. Great joy. On this mountain, whatever news you have heard, giving you concern, Help is on the way. Now, I'm not talking of help of check from government. No, I'm talking of divine help. Angels of God, they are being mobilized. God is touching the heart of the kings of this earth. Some of them will be discomforted by God, so they will make you comfortable. God will discomfort some of them to make you comfortable. Everyone holding and having whatever you need in his or hand, they will release it for you. Anyone that has your lifting, your promotion, your next level at hand, God will touch their heart. I'm going to be in some places, God will speak to you about somebody as a leader. I have served many, many times. God will speak to me, call this person. Put this person in this position. Amen. Help will reach you. Help will locate you in the name of Jesus. Whatever is making you to weep, giving you concern, I brought a different report. It will make you glad. Glad. The news that will make you glad 
shall be delivered to you. Come and say amen. Do you believe the word of this prophet? The news that will make you glad shall be delivered to you. Over your child, the news that will make you glad shall be delivered. Over your spouse, the news that will make you glad shall be delivered to you and to me. In the name of Jesus, Kalobo Sakapaline Rosa. You will walk tall before any challenge and any challenger. You are going to walk tall. You are going to walk tall. All those rising against you, they shall be scattered. Within 24 hours, help came for these people and their enemies were scattered. Help will come for you. Within 24 hours, the help of God will locate you in the name of Jesus. You know what God uses people? He's our ultimate helper, but he uses organization and people to dispense help. People will stand there and stay there. Like the four friends of the man of policy. They didn't allow obstacles to stop them. By the authority of this commission. Helper. God will connect you with helpers. I am, I God will connect you with committed helpers. I put my hands on this altar of God. By the authority of God on this commission, I decree that committed helpers, God will send them to you. Helpers who will commit themselves, who will stand by you, who will not be tired, but they will stand by you. By the God, by the grace of God, resident on this breakthrough altar, helpers will locate you. Heaven will send helpers. Jehovah will send helpers. Helpers will locate your children. Help us to locate your spouse. Help us that are committed. Help us that are sold out. By the reason of this help us, hot tasks are removed from your life. Hate tasks are destroyed from your life. In the name of Jesus, come and say there is power. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Hallelujah. There is power. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> to do what? To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, hallelujah. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Kaloboro <clears throat> Sire. There is power. In the name of Jesus, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. <laughs> I hear the chains falling. Whatever chain holding you, it breaks right now. That chain is broken off. That chain is broken off. That chain is broken off. Come on, say, my father, my father. Every chain, visible or invisible, holding me back, holding me down, holding my destiny, holding my family. By the authority in the name of Jesus, it breaks. It breaks. It breaks. It breaks. It breaks. Go ahead and declare. Come on, say, my father, my father. Every chain of darkness, every chain of man, visible or invisible, holding my destiny backward, holding me down, holding me oppressed, holding back my progress, let the chain break, let it break. But the Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every time must confess. Now, use the authority of this commission. The I am that I am, Acts chapter 12, verses 1 to 7, chapter verse 7. When there was uh, a, a, a satanic assault against the church, a satanic assault to destroy the leadership of the salt of the church, I would say the church of God they took their case to the court of God. There is a court of men, there is a court of God. Today I want you to take your case to the court of God. I don't know the chain holding you. Please pray this prayer by faith. They took their case, the church took their case to the court of God. In prayer, Acts 12, Bible says in verse 5, they pray, I mean, ceaselessly. The angels of God went to the prison, light shone, smote Peter on the side. So rise up, Peter. And the shame fell off. Ha! Today, I don't know who has been chained under this commission, anyone connected, associated, affiliated with this commission, and you have been chained. You are, you are chained by, by invisible or visible. Today, by the anointing resident upon this commission, may your chain fall off. May it fall off. May it fall off. May it fall off. May it fall off. Mental chain fall off. Emotional chain fall off. 
Capital chain, fall off. Financial chain, fall off. Caribo soul, fall off. Every generational chain, let it fall. Let it fall away. Let it fall away. Let it break away. Let it break away. Let it break away. Let it break away. Take your case to the court of God. Come on, say, my father, my father. Every invisible chain, every visible chain, be it generational, be it human, be it satanic. Father, arise, arise. Let it let it break. Arise. Arise. Scatter. Scatter. Destroy. Destroy every chain. Hold me. I set myself free. Your son Jesus has set me free. I am free indeed. I am free indeed. I am free indeed. Arise, O God, on my behalf. Break every chain. Destroy every chain. Destroy every, every, every arrangement of man that is a chain. Hold me. Father, scatter it. Destabilize it. Fight on my behalf. In the name of Jesus. I've told you the testimony before. It's good for this moment. Sister in this church who was in a residency and a, a poor somebody wanted to take advantage of her as an immigrant and because she just he saw her as a weak link. Somebody he, he could just oppress, but it was satanically inspired. Boom, it made her life difficult. Fired her on the Thursday for no reason. For no reason. She called us. We took her case to the court of God. Say, God, arise. This is an assault. This is one of the people associated with us. This one is among those. You say, a day, each day shall be filled with joy. My father, we pray. That was Thursday. By Friday in that company, somebody called, made an allegation against that man for sexual harassment. The owner of the company heard it. I said, fire that man instantly. The one that fired our sister on Thursday was fired on the Friday. My soca fire. Hey, he that digs a pit for you is falling to it now. He that digs a pit for you falls into that pit. Whoever is digging a pit for you, for me today, by the grace resident on this commission, I command those people digging pit for you. Anyone digging a pit of death, Pit of lie, pit of sickness, pit of affliction. For you, that person falls into it, you rise up right now. He or, he or she falls into it, whereas you're beginning to rise up. In the name of Jesus, Ramos Akataya. Friday, he was fired. And the owner of the company who, has, who never heard about the firing of her sister said she heard of a lady who has been so hard working, a medical doctor there, who was about to become a doctor. She said, I'll call, place a call to her. She said, I want you to take over the affairs of that company. That was when the sister related what happened a day before. The man said, forget about what, what that man did. You are now the leader. My God. Mazoke. Rekotaya. Ayananara. I see the hand of God reversing. Amen. The damages men did. Damages Satan did in your life. It's reversed. It's reversed. It's reversed. It's reversed. It's reversed. There's a restoration of your dignity. There's a restoration of your title. There's a restoration of your position. There's a restoration of your place. In the name of Jesus, remove Sakaya. Break every yoke of addiction. Unemployment. Come on, come on, say break in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of sickness, occultic shame. Demonic chain, a sensual shake. Come and say, break in the name of Jesus. Carabosu, every yoke of addiction. Come and say, break in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of unemployment, break in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of barrenness, break in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of demonic affliction, break in the name of Jesus. Occultic maneuvering, manipulation, break in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral chain, break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Kalebo soko poli na katali rabas kali abas kolere bosa ya. Ile gre bosa. Rege de soko li ambosa. Li barona kataya. Anyone with any mark in your body. By the blood of Jesus, they mark every satanic mark they put on you in the night. Amen. You see cuts, cuts in your bodies. Scratches, cuts in your body. Put your hand upon your body right now. Power Father, I don't know what they, put, they, they injected into these human bodies. You said we are bodies. They are bodies. They are the temple of the Lord. You will not share your body with any graven image. Whatever satanic instrument injected, amen, uh, inserted into this people's body, in, wherever this, in the night or whatever they do it, I command it to be flushed out. 
flushed out, flushed out, flushed out in the name of Jesus. I command it to be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Kalebo Soto Pro no Kotosa. Ah, come on, say in the name of Jesus. Because my body is a temple of God, I speak to my organs. Come on, say my organs. Hear ye the voice of the Lord. You must glorify God. Come and say, by the power in the name of Jesus, every sickness, every ailment, every affliction, every oppression against my body, be flushed out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Be flushed out. In the name of Jesus. Come and say, by the authority of God's word that says anything, my father has not planted with your prudence. Come and say, Father, whatever you have not planted in my organs, in my tissues, in my bodies, let it be flushed out. In the name of Jesus. Let it be flushed out. Let it be flushed out. I command every abnormal growth. Go right now. Not tomorrow. Today. 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 Every, you heard that testimony. Pain that was excruciating medication couldn't solve. A, a, medic, I mean, a, uh, a health practitioner who became a patient while taking care of his patient. But a word from Marathon <clears throat> to him. Clear it off. Ha! Huh? Today I speak by the utterance of the one who sent me. Every abnormal growth in the womb, abnormal growth in the cell of the body, abnormal growth in any organ, in the limbs, in, in the liver, in the kidney, abnormal growth in the breast, abnormal growth in the, in the, in the prostate. Today by the anointing of Jehovah who sent me, may it disappear, may it disappear. In the name of Jesus, may he disappear. In the name of Jesus, he sent forth his word. His word healed them. Snatch them from the pit of death. Psalm 107 verse 20. By the sent forth of God's word, today you are healed. You are healed from that affliction. Anyone at the door of death, I snatch you back. Roma Zakara. Diabetes, go in the name of Jesus. Siku said. Be healed of it. I have a urine fibroid, stroke, <coughs> paralysis, spinal cord injury. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Your liver will walk. <laughs> Every organ will walk. Why? Because Jesus took it on the cross. Matthew 8 17. He himself took your infirmities that it might be fulfilled. He took your infirmities and your sicknesses. He bore your sicknesses. And because he took them away, we will not have it. We will not have it. Do I have people online today who believe that Jesus already took their sicknesses and disease and they are not supposed to have it? If I have people like that, wrap yourself, your hand around yourself. Ah, yeah, yeah, this kind of prayer, if you need to jump up, jump up. If you are sitting fine, if you are lame, but make sure you wrap yourself and let that be an anger in you. Father, you bore my sicknesses and you bore sicknesses and disease that I'm supposed to carry on the cross. Therefore, I reject sickness, I reject disease in my body. Every form of sickness and disease, I reject it right now. I reject it right now. In the name of Jesus, I reject it right now. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Glory be to God. <laughs> That's a word of knowledge I'm hearing right now. About five people here. You've been praying to have peace. Yeah. There's no peace. There's a conflict all around you. In your career, conflict. In your family, conflict. I even see somebody now, your, your parent, your dad and mom. Amen. Then they see this conflict right now. And that's weighing you down. Huh? Yeah, so some, one conflict after another. There's a man here, you're praying for peace in your home. Peace <coughs> is the ingredient you are calling for. The God of peace will visit you today. I'm hearing the verse of God. He said, I... The God of peace will visit you and release my peace. Not as the world give it. Forces of trouble. Forces of chaos. Ah, palo vesukata. Forces of disturbance. They are removed. They are removed. They are removed. They are removed. Say boldly. Come and say by all means. Say, come and say by all means. It means no matter what, irrespective of what, it means it must happen. 
It means through all available options. It means, I mean, indisputable by all means. Second Thessalonians 3 16. Now the Lord of peace himself gives you peace always. Come on, say amen. By all means. The Lord of peace himself gives you peace always. By all means. The Lord of peace himself give you peace drive away forces of tension drive away conflict drive away disturbances and give you his peace by all means come on say by all means the god of peace will give me peace by all means i receive the peace of god by all means i receive the peace of god into my family i receive the peace of god into my career come on say by all means i receive the peace of god i am Embrace the peace of God over every situation of my life. Come and say, by the authority of God's word, I will enjoy and experience peace in every area of my life by all means. Come and say, by the authority of God's word, I will enjoy and experience peace in every area of my life by all means. Come and say, by the authority in the word of God and the authority of this commission, I will enjoy and embrace peace in every area of my life by all means. Ho, oh, oh, my Zaka. So shall be your spirit. First King, chapter 5, verse 4. Solomon speaking here. Say, the Lord has given me rest, peace. Now, there's neither adversary nor evil occurring. Woo! Testimony of Solomon, the son of David. And that shall be your testimony. Amen. Your Skype will be better. Your testimony will be better. He says, I've been delivered from battles of my father's house. It was a testimony of deliverance from generational transfer of afflictions. Solomon said, God of my father has given me rest on all sides. No adversary, no evil occurring. Those who used to be the enemies of his father became his friend. They gave to him. His father faced many battles. In turn, I stand at home battle. But this man, God gave him rest. Oh, yeah, yeah. On this mountain, you will have peace all around. God will give you rest. The battles that battled your parents, the wars that worried your parents, you are not a candidate. They expired in your time. In the name of Jesus, Romans Zakaya. We say wars will cease. God causes war to cease. Psalm 46, verse 9. Every battle and war will cease in your life. In the name of Jesus, peace will surround you. Those of you that are crying for peace, stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Here, almost, Sire Barbara, Father, I stand on the authority of your word. I release your peace by all means, your peace by all means into these lives. Every force of distraction, force of disturbance, force of trouble in marriages, in homes, between parents and children, between spouses, ay, 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 between business partners, I command those wars to cease. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm hearing. If someone is something, something started as a regular EKG. You went for your, it was just EKG. They did EKG, it was irregular. Now it's a full blown, full blown uh, uh, cardiac problem. Full blown heart disease. God is sending me to you right now. If you're that person, type yes. Type yes, type yes, type yes, type yes. You just went for a regular check, the DDKG, and you started as if abnormal EKG. Now it's a full blown uh, heart disease. God, hand, God's hand is ready to heal that disease right now. I defeat. I see one, two, three, three people with eye defect. You've been scratching, 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 scratching your eyes, one of your eyes. Sometimes it will turn red, sometimes it will clear off, but you've been scratching. God wants you to touch you now. Angels of God, send for us. We locate you. Type yes. Type yes. Yes, Lord. Ah, 2020 vision. 2020 vision. 2020 vision. 2020 vision. Yeah, yeah. Nervous system. Nerve damage. You have a, you have a nerve damage. That's a diagnosis. God is putting it together. He's putting it together. He's putting it together. Mazoko, Polina, Kuyaba. Everybody be praying in tongue. Wherever you are, be praying in tongue. I had somebody, your child, cried out of, her, uh, of sleep. And has since been restless, sluggish, and feverish, and sickly. Your child scream out of sleep. Sickly, sluggish, amen, and, and, and feverish since that time. 
The angels of God will locate you on your side right now. If you are, if you are very close to that side, place your hand on that side as I want to pray. Ah, somebody, you've been praying to have an occasion to celebrate. You've been praying, God, give me an occasion to celebrate. Give me an occasion to celebrate. Give me, God said, this is the occasion. This is the season. This is the season. In three months, you will have occasions to celebrate. At least in the next three months, one, one location will, will commence it. Ah, somebody, you've been waiting for a great news of major breakthrough. And it has been delayed twice. You've been waiting for this greatness. I don't know. I was, I've been asking God, is it a business? Is it money? God said there's something. It will be great news to you. It will be great news to you. It's going to be a major breakthrough. Twice now, it, 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 it was supposed to come, but it was delayed. God said the power of delays broke. All of you, Mazoye, Maki, Kalira, heat in your head. Yes, type yes. You've been having this heat oozing out of your head. You've used uh, Tylenol, Tylenol, and it's not easing up. Yes, sleepless night, you, you, insomnia. You've not been able to sleep. You toss and toss and toss. Type yes. God is healing you right now. They made somebody noise. You are walking. It's as if a big noise, noise following you. I disconnect you from that. Type yes. All of you, Father, I release your hand. I release your grace upon this people. Healing right now. Healing right now. That heart disease, Jesus, you took it away. No more your portion. No more your portion. I pray for that child that cried out of that dream. Every demonic tormentor that is tormenting that child, I arrest that tormentor. In the name of Jesus, I defeat. I be healed. Now, be healed. Every evil mark, go. Every evil mark, go. Here about occasion to celebrate. Kayaba, celebration. Joy, thanksgiving will not cease in your life. In the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, Kaleraboshaya, there is power. In the name of Jesus, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. I want to speak to us about ten minutes on this team, because I'm telling you, there's a fire that heaven has released. Everyone connected, associated, affiliated, if you connect with this platform, you are stepping into a new realm of power. Yeah, yeah. Come on, say, I am stepping into a new realm of power. And when you step into that realm of power, your position changes. Hallelujah. You are stepping into a new realm of power, a new realm of glory. Build your church, Lord. Make us strong, Lord. Join our heart, Lord. With your son, build your church, Lord. Make us strong, Lord, in the kingdom of thy son. How does he build his church? God is building the people of power. God is building the people of praise. Who will move through this land by his spirit. I will glorify his precious name. Build your church, Lord. Make us strong, Lord. Join our hearts, Lord. With your son. Make us one, Lord. In your body. In the kingdom of thy son. God builds his church. The church of God is not a natural body. It's a supernatural phenomenon. It's a supernatural movement that moves across the land through the power of the Holy Ghost. Today, may the power of the Holy Ghost swallow you up. Come and say, my father, my father, I refuse to be natural. I stare from natural to supernatural. I desire the supernatural. I embrace the supernatural. I enjoy the supernatural. Come and begin to make that. Come and say, Father, I refuse to live the life of ordinary. I refuse to live in the supernatural. I refuse to live the supernatural, experience the supernatural. I step, I mean, I refuse to experience the natural. I refuse to live in the natural and experience the natural. I step into the supernatural. In the name of Jesus. Listen, just 10 minutes, the crocodile cannot fight the lion in the jungle. The crocodile cannot fight the lion in the jungle. He will regret going into battle. He will regret it. Going into battle with the lion. If as ferocious as the lion is, he cannot fight a monkey on the tree. It's impossible. 
as ferocious as a lion is, he cannot fight the monkey on the tree. So also the lion cannot fight a shark in the ocean. The lion will be swallowed by the shark. You are not just powerful as a child of God. You are powerful only in your habitat. Hear me very well. As a child of God, we, the church of God, is only powerful in our habitat. Hear me very well. Living life in the natural is not our habitat. Living life in the natural is not our habitat. Our Heavenly Father has never intended for His church and His children to live life in the natural. We are to be clothed with a supernatural garment. Amen. Thank God you are wearing some clothing today. That's a supernatural garment that we should be clothed with. That is the power from on high. Jesus told the disciples, Luke 24, verse 49. He said, wait until you are clothed with power from on high. Today I prophesy, I pray from my heart that heaven will clothe you and I with supernatural garment, undefeatable garment, impenetrable garment. This supernatural garment from heaven shall clothe you and I in the name of Jesus. You all kinds of <clears throat> firemen, police, they have uniform that you, dis you disagree with. Even in the army, they have different kinds of uniforms. Amen. It lets you know their rank. So also in the kingdom of God, you have a uniform. You have a clothing. You have an outer garment. And that is the person of the Holy Ghost. The power from on high. What is the power from on high? The power from on high is a supernatural catalyst. For the manifestations of intentions, expectations, and the vision of people of God. It is the supernatural catalyst for the manifestations of the intentions, expectations, and visions of a person. Where there is power, intentions are carried out. Where there is power, visions is realized. Where there is power, expectation is brought to fruition. The church of God was only at the level of intention and vision in the heart of God until the Holy Ghost came in Acts chapter 2. Then the Holy Ghost, the power from on high, gave birth to the intention of God. The intentions in your heart will die as intention in the absence of power from above. That's how you need the power from above. Today may your vision be wrapped in this power. May your intentions and expectations be birthed by this power. What is power from on high? It is the imposition of the hev of heavenly influence for a change of position, of situation, and of condition. The superimposition of heavenly influence for a change of position, of situation, and of condition. Where power is available, conditions can be changed. Come on, say amen. Where power is available, situations can be changed. Where power is available, locations can be changed. Hallelujah. Amen. You will be upgraded where power is available. The place is stone at the tomb of Jesus to, to hinder its rising. To hinder its change of location from the, from the grave to the throne. But the power of God came, broke the tomb. Roll away the stone. I don't know the stone of man, satanic stone, blocking your rising. The power from on high will remove it. Come on, say amen. The power from on high will remove it. You will rise. 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 A woman walking to ASCC with crushes one time with cane. Go. The power of God came upon me. I said, give me that cane. And she was wobbling. I took it away. Pray for her. Unknown to me, she had MS. Multiple sclerosis. After that prayer, few weeks later, she was certified whole. She never used cane since that time. Her business turned around and bought a house. Hallelujah. She went forward. Her destiny moved forward. I see that power breaking every limitation holding you. In the name of Jesus, I'm ready. It is a power that comes upon the church to make, so, to make us a witness. A living witness. Where we become a moving, moving, speaking, miracle dispenser. Moving, speaking, miracle dispenser. The church of God is not meant to be a beat down, defeated church. We are meant to be a glorified, power driven, power, power, <coughs> power filled body of Christ. I see that power coming upon you in the name of Jesus. Grab your water right now. As I want to begin to make declaration upon you. Grab your water. 
Hey, I drank it. Come on, drank, drank, go and grab this if you don't have the bottle of water right now. I remember one time, <clears throat> our evangelist Ryan Bonke was menacing in Ibadan. I was there as one of the prayer warriors in a huge stadium in Nigeria. And the occultists gathered. They went to the TV that he would not do the second night. Powerful miracle the first night. They said they will use rain to destroy the, the, the crusade. We prayed. The man of God stood. <laughs> God's power rose. Miracle took place. Many, many lives were changed. The occult, it was immediately after the crusade. Rain that I've never witnessed happened. Rain that I've never witnessed. But the power from on high destroyed the power of the occultic. I don't know the occultic power rising against you. That power is destroyed. That power is arrested. You will rise. You will rise. You will rise. You will rise. In the name of Jesus. You will rise. In the name of Jesus. You will rise. <clears throat> Are you ready right now? Go ahead and begin to talk to God. What do you want to be delivered? Apart from what we have prayed. Roma Sakaya. What do you need to be delivered? Go ahead and begin to talk. Go ahead and begin to speak. Go ahead and begin to talk. Go ahead and begin to speak. Go ahead and begin to talk. Hallelujah. Father, I bless the water the people they're holding. You say you bless our water and bread. You will heal us from all diseases and sicknesses. As we drink that water, it's no more than it's a supernatural water. May you release the power of God upon you right now. In Jesus' name. Drink it. For every trouble and shame and confusion, I declare compensation for you, double honor, double joy. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power of the Holy Ghost afresh. Come on, say in the name of Jesus, I receive the power of the Holy Ghost afresh for fresh evidences. From today, your destiny is unstoppable. The hand of God rests upon you. Fresh power of God rests upon you. From today, may you begin to function in supernatural power from above. Unstoppable. Joy becomes your portion. The power of God rests on you. Every power trying to stop you, God stops it right now. In the name of Jesus, your destiny will not be stopped. Your dream will not be stopped. There will be no confusion in your family. There shall be a lifting and a joy. Happiness over you. In the name of Jesus, you overcome every trap of the enemy. In Jesus' name. Come and rejoice in his presence today. Go ahead and rejoice. Go ahead and rejoice. Go ahead and rejoice. <clears throat> Pull out your giving. Come on, are you glad today for what God has done for you? Give him praise. Give him praise. Yes, yes, go ahead and give to God right now. Your tithe offering, your appreciation. Roma, Saka, sell. Test to give. I receive from you now. May the Lord bless you, honor you. Receive your giving. Breathe on you afresh. Give you evidences for the prayer you have prayed. You shall, you shall come back as the redeemer of the Lord with your testimonies. Rejoicing all the way through. The devil can stop it. Man can stop it. Be blessed. Be favored. Be honored. See you in services, to, in one of the services tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. ASCC 2021, my year of supernatural restoration, I will never break down. I will forever break through. Be blessed.